Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, you might be wondering what the heck is up with this mess right here. I'm actually working on a little side project to make the RV into not only a home, but also an office space where I can actually try to sit down and do some work, um, basically computer work. And even though it had a little dining t table area, and it still does, because I plan on keeping it as a dining table for when um, the wife and kids are over and uh, we can all sit down and eat. Well, I'm actually going to get some little, what do they call those little tables? You know, the little foldable tables uh, so that people can sit here. Because this can sit like three more people. So you could have like five, you could have like seven people eating here conceivably. But I, I would say comfortably you could do one, two, five people comfortably eating in here. Uh, if I can get those little side tables. But um, for now, because it's mostly me in here and I need to get some work done. I'm thinking that instead of ripping all this out, because I do kind of like the arrangement of having a dinette here that can convert to a little mini bed for um, a small person like maybe my son if he wants to spend the night, I'm going to keep it like that. But I was looking at the setup and I was like, you know, I can shift this over if I can get more of these um, wedge thingies, that the, the hardware for the RV for that goes underneath to hold the, um, the table up. But I don't think they'll just have them at Home Depot. I think you have to go to like a specialty store. They might have it and some kind of mounting stuff. But for now, I'm going to try to make my own. So I have this um, metal rod with the holes in it that I bought from Home Depot to make the license plate mount. Because there was a broken one on the RV. And I decided to measure the, um, the width here and get it roughly the same size to cut it. And then what I'm going to do is actually bend up the center bulge it out just like you see here a little bit i plan on just uh using a piece of wood and just bulging it it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be large enough to to basically lock in here so it needs to lock in and hold hold this um part up against the wall so what i'm gonna do is move it over there this far because this is as far as it'll go with the um the leg of the table so it'll go right up to the edge here and then I'll probably put something else there to mount it to hold it in place, uh, maybe, or just to kind of give it a little bit more stability. Then there's a little bit of gap here, and that's okay, because I don't want it too far away from this chair area. But the plan is to be able to slide in here and sit and use this as a table and work and be closer to the monitor. You might be saying, well, couldn't you just use the monitor sitting back here with the table back here? Yeah, I could and was. But... With my vision issues, um, even though this is a giant screen here, it's I think a, I think it's a 24 or 20 or 32 inch TV. It's, um, it's kind of blurry a little bit. You know, I have to kind of do weird stuff with my eyes to get it to get into focus. I think a better distance is moving it closer, and it could even go a little bit closer if I shift the center thing over but I, I don't think I'm going to shift that leg thing I mean leave it right there in the center but I think this is going to be good enough because then I can just sit right here put the keyboard here and work and I think that's a close enough distance this TV did come out from the, the wall it has a little arm thingy that makes it stick out so I'll actually have a dinette that can be moved and adjusted between a, a workstation table or a dinette and when it's just me in the RV by myself or me and my wife in here and we don't have the kids over, it could be left as a um, workstation so I can do some work on my computer, you know, sit comfortably, not worry about getting squeezing in and out, which I was having issues with. Um, and then if the other person needs to eat, they can just eat here on one of the little, I'm going to get one of those little tray table thingies. That way... Um, this is used mostly for workspace, not for eating. But if I have the kids over and the family over and we want to have a nice family meal, we can still reset it as a table mode. At least that's the initial plan. I could simply just move the hardware over and do that. But I think it's just going to be better to um, try to make my own mount like this for now. At least that's my plan <laughs> we'll see what happens i'm not quite sure how this is all going to work or not work because i i don't have the the bottom mount and I, I plan on just using that one right there to hold it in place so hopefully with just one holding it and this holding it up and then getting some kind of securing thingy over here we'll have it working
cross your fingers. I'll keep you guys posted here. Um, maybe do a follow-up video once I get it done and you can see what it's supposed to look like. And I managed to bend it by laying it over this piece of wood and hammering it a little bit just to kind of give it an arc and then I'm going to put screw holes there. I did cut myself on the edge here by holding it and hammering which was pretty dumb. Originally I was going to get some gloves, you know some um, garden gloves or something just to give myself protection but thought I'd be okay and it turned out I wasn't. <laughs> At least it's not too bad. Anyhow, um, we're going to take the drill and drill holes here, four holes on the edge, and then mount those in. You can see this isn't perfect. It just needs to be bent enough so that it forms like a lip that the other piece will go under. And then we'll see how well it works as far as holding it. You can see here I have um, pieces of the sticky here that maybe I'll try to remove. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. By the way, I don't know if you saw this. This is um, uh, USDA Choice Grade Beef. It is um, beef shoulder steak from Thrifty. Yeah, 328. That's going to be dinner tonight. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? All right. Just wanted to show you how I am drilling the holes. I'm basically drilling the holes on each of the corners there. That's where I'm going to screw it into the wall. And it'll be curved up. I kind of flattened it a little bit. So it's like curved only a little bit. It only needs to be up high enough to hold the um, the lip in place. We want it kind of tight, not not super tight, but tight. You know, big enough that the lip will go under and lock in place. And the holes are going to go on the four sides there. They don't have to be perfect, but you'll see I am drilling on a, a piece of scrap wood instead of directly on the table. You don't want to be putting holes under the table here and causing a problem for yourself and other campers. So if you're doing work like this somewhere in public. Take care not to destroy their existing furniture and things like that. I um, am doing it on my scrap wood so that when the drill goes through, it hits my scrap wood and not their table. <laughs> Just a heads up. Doing this usually breaks the drill bit. <laughs> like It's a small little bit. Ended up broken like a whole bunch of times. I kept using the same broken part over and over. But eventually I do have all eight holes. So we'll see if we can't get this thing screwed on there and see if this is actually going to work after all this. I'll need to get more of these small little drill bits because they're the size of the, the screws I've been using to screw everything together.